Pi 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 an incident that occurred in a place called Dover. Dover is in St. Mary. Where at least three persons got conned up. I am speaking about 60-year-old, 68-year-old Morris Forrester, affectionately known as Morrow. 57-year-old Michael Harris, affectionately known as Mikey. And a character that is going to come into play for the first time. This was not in the news, this was not on TV, print media, nowhere. His name is Andrew Carter O.C. Oliver. Oliver is from a place named Huddersfield that is in the bush bush of St. Mary. Based on the information the two persons that lost their life, Morrow and Mikey, Morrow, like me say, 68, Mikey, 57. Oliver, Andrew Carter was the target. This is Morrow's picture right here. This is Mikey's picture right here. And this is Oliver's picture right here. Oliver, 40-something. Morrow, 60-something. And then Mikey, 50-something. So therefore, they are about a decade apart, 10 years apart. Now, people, when this incident occurred... People contact me and them I say, you know, say, none of them two man, yeah. Now I have nothing to do with nothing. Them are no sorts of crime producer. Them not involved in any sorts of criminal activity. They are good people. Them just dead. Eh? Them smoke up them weed. Them drink up them Jerry and Neville. Them just hang out and have a good time. Typical country setting in a Jamaica. The next youth that was the intended target, Oliver. He run a little business up in the bush bush. Now people, when I say bush bush, I don't talk about no sorts of mega marts or one of them big establishment. Typical mama and papa thing, shock thing, him do him little hustle, him smoke him weed and him just a people person. Tourist life come around him because of his personality. So therefore, he make a decent living. No sorts of rich living. So therefore, he now have excess money to burn or give away. However, based on information that I am getting, in the past four years, he is being extorted by some outer, some young youths that just want party. Pop champagne, gamble, waste with money and feel like because them are some waste man, people are supposed to supplement their income. So therefore, them go up in the bush and them want to extort the man. And you see the man is a tick man, is a rasta man. Him say, no, me na stand for this. Me na supplement nobody income, not in my parliament. About four years or so ago, them rush him. Them C-H-O-P him up in him head all over the place. Him go at the power power station. Him make a report. Nobody got arrested. No case. Not none at all. It was swept under the rug. About four years ago, extortion attempt once again. Them pipe pie him up five times in the stomach, in the upper torso. Him make a report again. No sorts of arrests, everything swept under the rug. So we can come to the conclusion that it seems as if it's either the poor, poor, incompetent, them negligent, or either them are get paid off by these extortionists. So therefore, they are a part of the grand scheme of extortion. They cannot be that horrible. Fast forward a couple of days ago, like me say, Morrow and Mikey, Morrow 68, Mikey 57. We're at some sorts of bar. About 6 a.m. in the morning, 
When the lady go, they forgot to open up the bar, like me say, them drink a lot. Them like the Jerry and Nevia setting. Them like the hang out pan spot pan bar pan corner. A lot of Jamaicans do it, not very safe. However, they would learn the hard way. Six o'clock in the morning, a vehicle pull up. Some man run them down. One of them get caught up, turn over in the bar. The next one outside. Pierce starts ahead, S-H-O-T-S. The people in the place are wonder and a panda. However, people, the truth is that they were not the only two. Them also rush Oliver. However, Oliver is a man we always have him, him, him tall. Not really tall. Him five star or whatever. Kitchen utensil him have because of his past double experience. Meaning, them C-H-O-P him up before for extortion and meaning about two years ago, them pretty much pipe him up at least five times. He lived to tell the tale. So therefore, when them come back, he defended himself like anybody should. And it seems as if him juke ju up to the people. Him. People, this was not in the news. This was not in the poor poor reports. Very strange. The information now is that Oliver pretty much just recovering from whatever can up him gets. Most of the conning based on information that I got was in the upper body, in the stomach, in the chest. Him under heavy medication. Him pretty much just come to him since maybe about a day ago. So therefore he is in a room. When them take him in along with two other persons, these two other persons are said to be suspect G-U-N-M-E-N. That Rush Oliver and Oliver defend himself, juke ju them up very, very badly. It is said that one of those men in a bad, bad situation don't think that he is going to make it according to what the Pope is saying. The other man now, he may defend it to the T. Him there in a one room. That means uh, Oliver and then one of the suspects in our next room. Chain up on the hospital bed. Them also chain up Oliver to which is Andrew Carter, his government name, O.C. Oliver. However, throughout their investigation, them realize, uh, but hold on a minute. Oh, we are chain up, lock up, and cuff up Oliver upon the bed and he is a victim. Throughout their investigation, them find out. Based on information that I am getting, and this is based on persons that work at the hospital in which all three men were taken. It is said that them in a one room, one man like me say, him get juke juke up by Oliver. It seems as if him now going to make it. He is pretty much on his, D, on his D E A T H bed. It is said that one of the man, that is one of the G U N M A N R men, them are cause. Oliver and I say, oh Oliver, make him friend almost lose him life. Oh, you almost K I L L my friend. We are got K I L L you. They were making or he was making all sorts of D E A T H threats to Oliver in the next room. Now, people, when we hear stuff like this, seeing that not only one, not only two report was made. It is said that while Oliver was on his bed, almost D-E-A-T-H bed, he is being or he was advised by the poor poor. Listen, don't make no statement on top of the two statements where you already make. Just act like say you was just there and you get hit by some sort of stray bullets. Now people, I am not sure which direction this Popo was trying to take the case. But people, if and when there's any sorts of incident in which persons get hurt, get caught up, get juk juk up, get C-H-O-P-P-D up, you probably want to go by the facts. You probably want to go by exactly what happened. So therefore, why would the Popo be telling this victim on his bed so he should pervert the course of justice? Infilai, infise, 
him now have nothing to do with anything. He was just a passerby and some sort of stray B U L L E T S hit him. What type of audacity would these criminals have after they were held because they were injured after some sort of incident in which two other people lose them life? Im crony almost D E A D to. Oliver was lucky to be alive based on the information that I am getting from the doctors or personnel that work in the hospital. This man still have the audacity to be going back and forth across across Rome to the man and tell the man say how he make him friend lose him life and how he may go K-I-L-L him after they have already made at least three attempts. People, the JCF cannot be this horrible. The investigators cannot be this horrible. How is it that you have people getting or being victims at least three times and none of those three times no sorts of popo report was made, no sorts of documentation was made. However, this man almost lost him life two other persons that are not involved in any sorts of criminal activity end up being D-E-A-D -E innocent like the day them born just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time Oliver, three attempts people me not really know if Oliver should name Lucky however people every day that the bucket goes to the well one day the bottom is going to drop out these people make at least three attempts already and they are still making all sorts of D-E-A-T-H threats. When is the Popo, the JCF, going to take this serious? I seriously feel as if people that are victim or family of the victim need to start get some sorts of lawyer and start suing the JCF for negligence and incompetence and lack of doing their job. They should not be this horrible. However, people, they are. And persons are losing their life. Persons' life are in jeopardy because of the incompetence and negligence of the JCF. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, there was a popular song back in the day. It was called Must Be a Dopey or a Gunman. Well, people, we cannot tell the difference between the popo and the gunmen nowadays. Especially when popo doing the same thing as the gunmen. Especially when gunmen are posing like the popo. A couple of weeks ago, or probably a week ago, sorry, there was an incident in a place called Bounty Hall in which a 24-year-old complainant made a report to the Paul Paul station in a bounty hall that I in a Chilani, like I say. He said he was standing and a voxy pulled up. Four men jumped out and lighted out of the vehicle with all sorts of 9mm 4 5 rifle. In a Paul Paul clothes, Paul Paul vest, a act like Paul Paul, a claim to be Paul Paul. Them stick him up. Don't move. Hey boy, don't move. Search him pockets. When them search him pocket, him have 300,000 inside there. Them say, we well, here, say, so you're going with all sorts of wrongdoing. We need to search the house. We have warrants. Going at the man's house, never showed any sorts of warrants. When them going there, them buck up on a chis. All time people call it chis. New people call it safe. Them say, hold on a minute. Where they not at the safe, they are at the chist there. Open up the chist ASAP, right away. No stallings. The man comply, open up the safe, open up the chist. Them take out 500,000. Soon as them take out the whole of the money, jump in at the vehicle, voxy, sped off, gone like a thief in the night, in the early morning. Man I say, hold on a minute there. Then out comes, poor, poor, search me. Take what three thought three hundred thousand out of my pocket and then five hundred thousand out of my safe. Them money I must a thief, maybe I some chopper paw paw them here, or maybe them just use the paw paw badge, hide under the badge of disguise, hide under the vest of disguise. 
So the power point at Chilani I launched some sorts of search because I said then hold on a minute. Them people are defame the character of the JCF as if them have any sorts of character right now. Because like me say, we don't know them different from the thief other than them have legal fire piece. That is about it in most cases. So people, we have to ask the question. Do you think that these men are actually thieves posing as poor poor? Or do you think that they are poor poor posing as thief? Or do you think that they are thief and poor poor posing as something else? People, me not really know what to say. However, in my opinion, it is kind of strange that you're on the corner in front of your house wherever and people just roll up in a vaxi as if them are some sort of psychic, as if them know something where you don't know. How is it that they know? There has to be some sort of internal information, spot a lion, I give them information. They don't know, say, a little man in a blue jeans and red top out there, so with all sorts of money in his pocket and all sorts of money in the chest of the house. Take a little check, take a little surveillance and see what you can come up with. People, it is too much of a coincidence. Some men know if a some sort of woman, some sort of friend, me no know if he was going to buy something and the people them trick him and take away money and the sykes. Me no really know the circumstance. All I know that he went to the power power station and made a report that this incident happened about a week ago and then there's been other victims. As soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link in the description of this video. Bless up.